Well, um, what you're about to see is a great game for kids that, uh, when they sit down and try to play, especially like a new piece or when they haven't really quite learned that well, um, their fingers just kind of run wild and their brain and their, their mind doesn't have a chance to catch up to their fingers. Um, maybe they're hitting a lot of wrong notes and um, maybe you just kind of wish there was a way to slow them down and get them to think about the notes before they just let their fingers run wild. And basically this game really accomplishes that. What you're going to do, you'll see it in a minute, but what you're going to do is take some kind of tennis ball or any kind of ball and you're going to have your student hold the ball in the hand that plays the first note in the song. They're going to name that note. When they've named it correctly, they throw the ball to you and um, then they find that note on the piano and then they play it and then you're going to throw the ball back and it keeps going back and forth just like that. And what I find this does, uh, it has an interesting very interesting positive effect. Um, I find that it really kind of retrains the brain to um, consciously think about the notes first before you just let your fingers kind of run wild. And one last little disclaimer about this game is I would definitely not use it with every student. I probably only use it on about a tenth of my students, if that. And uh, other students, there's really no need for it, but the students that their fingers just kind of run crazy and you're trying to stop them and get them to think about the notes, it works wonders. So I uh, hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching. Tucker, say goodbye. Right. Can you name that note? Mm -hmm. G. All right, toss me the ball and find and play that G on the piano. Awesome. Is the next note the same? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to let you do that one. E. F. F. E. E. C. He's actually doing really well at this point, so I'm going to have him name every note in the entire measure and then throw me the ball and play that, and we're going to go back. We went back and forth like that for a little bit. The whole measure, and then toss me the ball, and then play that entire measure, okay? Yep. Yeah. All right, so the first measure is which hand? Left. All right, name all three of those notes. G, G, E. Are you sure? Would you bet me a hundred dollars? Yes. All right. <laughs> Just testing you? Yeah. And you're going to see him play, try to actually play the song just normally. And I am going to cover his hands because I do find that um, one external sign of somebody that is thinking with their fingers instead of with their eyes looking at the book is when they do look at their hands. So if I, if I take away that possibility, um, I'm still keeping his mind on the notes in the book and not on his fingers. And try the song again from the beginning. Right. Thanks for watching and I hope it helps. Tucker, say goodbye. Tucker, Tucker, say say hi to all the piano teachers. Say hi. Good boy.